Right, we're back guys, 10 over 5 here on Fog Entertainment and it is the Mechanic Movie Review and if you're looking for the most generic Jason Stratham movie then here it is the description reads as follows Arthur Bishop is widely regarded as the best contract killer in the business when his mentor Harry is murdered Bishop first take revenge while teaching Harry's son the tricks of the trade so basically we kick off Oh, he's a hitman, he can kill people all these certain ways, you got to make things look accidental or look like they're supposed to happen or whatever. You know, an act of war, pin it on someone else, do 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 do, but he's been set all these things. His mentor, Harry McKenna, he's in a wheelchair, but one of his hits turn out to be on him. Harry then basically gives him the guns, like, yeah, you do it, man. So yeah, he kills his mentor, boom, 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 we like get the first bit of the movie done. Then we meet... Um, Steve McKenna, which is uh, Harry's son, and basically Jason Stratham trains this guy up. Um, it's like, it's an alright movie, man, but I don't know, I feel like it's a bit, it's like almost like you waste like an hour and 33 minutes of your life. Like, it's so obvious that this Steve guy is like going to find out that it was Arthur Bishop that killed his dad. Jason Stratham's character killed his dad, but... It's like, by the time they do it, it's retarded. So these, do like, these two do like a bunch of missions together. Basically, Steve's like first mission by himself is this Burke guy who preys on like young men. Um, he's six foot seven. Young uh, Arthur Bishop basically, Bishop tells Steve, <laughs> don't get into a fist fight with this guy. Steve obviously not listening, wants to prove himself. <laughs> Takes him on. It was actually a pretty good fight scene, this was. Um, proper square go between these two. Um, and he's a big boy. Six foot seven was right, man. He was an absolute fucking unit. Um, but yeah, good fight here. They also do this mission with this fat guy. who's like a Bible preacher. Dude, just a weirdo. He takes cat. I mean, then they have to like improvise how to kill him. But then they get spotted in the walls and they manage to escape. But then soon after, they basically go on an all-out mission to kill Dean Sander, the guy that put this whole shit show in motion. Basically ordered the hit for Bishop to kill Harry, uh, Steve's dad. Um... Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but the Steve, is there ever a like confirmation? He kind of just turns his back on Arthur, but I'm assuming that's why. Can't even recall, I can't even remember or recall, like, but that's what goes on there. Um, so yeah, we get all that shit, but Finn's fun in this season. He's in all these generic ass movies, like the security guard guy. Um, so that happens with this. So yeah, basically the kill Dean and his squad, those are going to live happily ever after, but Jason notices a gun. On Steve, he's like, oh no, he's going to turn heel, I'm going to fill it, he's like, last chance, do you want anything? He's, Arthur Bishop's like, no, but he leaves the fuel handle, the fuel pump in the car, he goes around the corner, a big Steve turns around, bang, shoots it, looks like Arthur Bishop's dead, so obviously he's not dead, Steve then returns to the house, he takes the car, he picks up a note that's in the car, it says, if, it says, Steve, if you're reading this, you're dead, Bishop, he starts to laugh, boom, he blows up, then Jason Stratham has like a final ending montage, kind of shows you how he survived the, the bomb in the um, petrol station and shit like that, so yeah, I mean, it's alright, but you know what, anyone giving this movie anything higher than a 6 can needs their head like that. I'll give it a 5, but it's like bog standard, but it's kind of done well at the same time, guys. But anyway, that'll do it for your movie with a few of The Mechanic. Apparently there's a Mechanic 2, there might even be a third one. I've seen something about Mechanic Resurrection. Like, say this end with that Steve guy just driving off, and then like you see that Bishop's alive. You can kind of see how they set up a second movie, but... The way this goes about itself, no idea how the fuck this sets up a second movie, guys. But anyway, leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, this has been Fog Entertainment, and peace.